All right, welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's I'm Beowulf. Back at it with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And the I am Beowulf merch at CryptoBeowulf.com. You might have seen my last couple videos ago where I showed off I was 3D printing a life-size Terminator T-800 and uh, this is kind of updates if it wasn't we had a big temperature drop otherwise I'd actually be painting this today um, but I have it all prepped work everything done so if you've seen the other video to now uh, yeah it's it's pretty uh, different of the detail of everything done with it and uh, yeah that's it's turned out look at the details inside there So that's where you would put the CPU in. There's a cap cover. So basically, um, I showed in there is this was printed with regular PLA, and then uh, this one was printed in PLA. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one was printed in PLA plus. So I'm actually building, gonna print another skull to be separate. Actually, what I'm gonna turn this one that I printed because I want to print the whole thing in PLA uh, plus. But what I'm going to actually turn out this other one because I got everything printed I need to finish just the head. And then I'm actually going to make the head into um, like a, like a, almost like a desktop uh, display thing. Uh, I have the LEDs, the whole system to get the eyes up and running. And then basically I have to paint the uh, primer and prep the teeth. But I can't do any of that until uh, the skulls painted but just check out the details this thing has just turned out I'm very happy with the work that I did the hardest thing was when you're doing like everything prepping this was not losing any of the lines so it was just a very time-consuming process but what I'm just really happy with is having this thing all ready to go and there's no more sanding no more prep work for this skull uh, this one's ready the paint this one still needs a little bit of uh, prep work done before I can actually paint this. So, uh, like I said, if it wasn't called, that would be already done today. And I basically tried getting a bunch of stuff done before the temperature really dropped because it would take longer to dry and probably wouldn't be the most intelligent thing with doing that. But I figured to have in the video showing what's going on because the next time you guys will see this, this thing will be painted and i'm telling you it still blows my mind every time i look at this and grab this since i was a little kid always my favorite i'd have to say very hard to say what your favorite movie is but i'd actually be honest terminator 2 um is my favorite movie i just think it's just I, we just recently watched it and i'm just thinking to myself like for a 90s movie it holds up um Big time and the whole process of CGI that was basically everything you see now in modern day movies is because of that movie and if it wasn't because of that movie it just wouldn't have been pushing the envelope of what is what modern day CGI is in its um, Stan Winston I mean he's the one that designed the Terminator T-800 and just look at the details I, I mean I remember being when like I said in the last video that I was there this two days after the Terminator 2 3D ride opened up at Universal Studios Florida when I was a kid I remember they had a life-size T-800 and I remember looking at that going oh I could would do anything to have that and to become an adult and then uh I'm actually making it and I think this is just going to have such a more sentimental piece it's just that you know I printed it I put all the work into it and then this paint that I got, I think is gonna just make this thing pop. And even having it as a red primer, just is already showing the details where it doesn't show any looks of it that is plastic. I mean, and then once it gets this metal that I'm gonna be doing, is just gonna blow this away. And the, the color of the teeth, once you see the final product, oh, it's gonna be so cool. And I, I'm planning on selling these. I, that's why I wanna do, the gall of doing the one just the skull piece because the price of what it would cost to make somebody the full terminator t800 not a lot of people had the money um 
for doing something like that that they would want. So that's why I figured to do something a lot more reasonable uh, with this. And it's just a cool setup piece. I just like, think this thing is so cool. And it's just, it's crazy because if you look at back past videos, when I got the Arcade 1UP Terminator 2 arcade system, I remember seeing that video, oh, I wish I could have the T800 hand or T800 life-size Terminator next to it. Because I have the signed Terminator 2 poster signed by Arnold Schwarzenegger that I got as a gift a long time ago. And it's always been one of my prized gifts and uh, that it's in my collection of stuff I own. And I never would have thought then, and even just like a couple of months ago, that I'd actually have a Terminator to have next to this. And it's it, and I, I'm not sure when I finish this one, where I'm gonna put it, maybe I'll go on top of the arcade. I'm not sure, but once you guys see the eyes lighting up, oh man, you guys don't even understand how cool this is gonna be. And it's just cool to see how far it's gotten. And it's just so much, it's just so much detail to this thing that it's really neat um i got a really nice paint setup that i have here at my house that i bought and uh for painting and it just makes life really easy with doing all this and it's not messy and uh for not doing this for a living i think i did a really good job i mean it's not it's not perfect, but for somebody who has like no experience doing this, I think there's nothing here I'm looking at and going, man, I could have done it better. So you still have to put the eyeballs. There's still a lot of prep work, but the main thing is they have the head, the jaw done, because then you got to still work with all these teeth to put in there. And then there's other pieces with it. There's like, these are the two biggest pieces. And once you knock out that, all the stuff is little where you're just doing little airbrushing. And then once I do the whole paint, then I'm gonna do like, I'm still debating, I gotta actually research more about it tonight, um, is making it look like inside here is like oil. You know, I don't wanna get like a black paint cause then I'll just look like it's painted black. I want someone to have it look like there's, you know, oil in here like all these little areas to where it doesn't look like it's just black paint i want something that makes more look like really industrial what you would think this thing is on patrol you know it's one of these things you know base the movie there you know there's dust and you know all that kind of stuff they're not like sitting in a clean laboratory and that's kind of what i wanted is this one is to have it have um like battle damage. I actually in the future just was thinking of that. It'd be cool having one where it has an actual real uh, uh, like a bullet hole through it. Some type of thing where it looks like this thing was like destroyed. Because in the movie, both movies, they are not easy to take down. Um, but that's just another idea. There's so much cool stuff. I just, I just think this thing is just so neat. I'm just so happy with this. But I figured to share it. Um, of what it looks like and it's just a little bit more detail of this i mean so this hand in the bottom was all rough from the um printer bed and you know you do all the stuff with prep work getting this thing all smooth where it is all ready to go and i was playing around with a lot of different sprays this is actually two different brands so this is this one and this one are one brand and then this one is a different brand and you can actually um, obviously tell with that. You can actually see from different areas where it's sanding, where the different layers of different brands. I think this, we we'll take it back, I think that under what this one is, is what this one has, what's added onto this one is onto this, but it was playing with the different ones. I found this one brand that is what I did the whole skull on is what I did here, but I just, man, impressive. If you're a Terminator fan or not, this is just gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so wild when this thing is uh, fully built. That gives you an idea of what it would look like. I think the jaw would be a little bit more, I think it'd be like, like that. It looks weird not having teeth in there, but if you look at the old video, it is just unbelievable how cool this thing has gotten.
Well, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Check out the I am Beowulf merch at CryptoBeowulf.com. Stay mighty and keep strong.